and welcome to computer class. How are you all students? Students, we have started new chapter about PowerPoint. So in the last class, we have read about the different components of the PowerPoint window. So today in the class, we are going to learn how to create new presentation, how we can save it and how we can add new slides in it. So let's start with the class. Chapter 5 Introduction to PowerPoint 2010 So today we are going to learn how to create new presentation. So when PowerPoint opens it automatically creates a new blank presentation and this consists of single title slide. Now to create a new presentation first of all we have to click in the file tab and there new option and next blank presentation and we can also select the template or theme and then click on create button. So in this way we can create a new presentation. Next after creating a new presentation, now we need to save the presentation. For saving, we have to go to the file tab and then click on save option. A dialog box will appear, will mention the file name and then we will click on the save button. So our presentation gets saved. Next, developing the title slide. By default, the first slide in a PowerPoint presentation is a title slide. And we should give a title to the presentation which we are preparing. Next, adding new slides. So, the above one was to present the title slide that means the name of the presentation and then we can add new slides and new slides are of a different slide layout. Before that let's have an activity. What is a presentation made of? It is made up of slides. When we launch PowerPoint 2010, which view does it open in? It opens in a normal view. Which tab will you click to create a new presentation file? That is file tab. Which button will you click to save a presentation file? That is save button. Now this activity to be done in computer book itself. So now let's see how to make presentation with the help of PowerPoint. Now here first of all we have to create new presentation. So we will go to file tab, click on new and then we'll click on blank presentation. There are some design options which we can get it. And now the page which is first shown is the title slide. That means it is going to be that main page. That means it will show the name of the presentation which we are going to show. So before that, we have to save the file. Again, we'll go to the file tab, click on save. If you want to browse, we can browse and set the location. And here we are going to name it like it is my first presentation. So I will name it that way and click save. So now it's done. So now we have to name our title slide. So we will name. So the topic which I am going to take is about means of communication.
means of communication so my first slide is ready so i have to add some more slides to adding the next slide i will go to the home tab and here i will select new slide after selecting new slide i am going to see that there are many slide layouts that means different types of slides we can find some title and content we can have two contents so that we can insert some pictures tables charts in the slide we can have the blank slide as well like this so right now i'm going to select two content slides now in different slide layouts when we click on new slide so we get a different types of slide layout like we can insert text pictures sound clips video clips charts or tables which appears on the slide now it has nine ready made layouts that can be seen by clicking on the layout button in the home tab so there are almost nine ready made layout options so it comes by clicking on the layout button inside the home tab now next comes that adding text to a slide we can add some text to the slide and we can add clip art to a slide and we can also add pictures which is already inside the computer clip art is the ready made image it can be a sound or a movie clip that we can insert in computer files now it comes with its own collection of clip arts in the office clip art gallery we can also search it from the internet as well next is running the slideshow now our slideshow is done we have made different slides and then to run the slide show we have to just click on slideshow and then we'll click on from the beginning so we can see all the slides working one by one now let's remember one important point the full screen preview of the slides is called the slide show that means when we click on slide show so it opens and as a full screen mode so all the animations and transition effects applied to the slides become visible only during the slide show that means the transitions animation that would be seen only during the slide show next when the work is done we are there to close the presentation and here to close it we'll go to the file tab click on the close option so our presentation will be closed Now we have added a new slide. Now here we will add the title first. The title of this particular page like mobiles and telephones. This is a means of communication and we'll add some text related to this like most widely used means of communication so we can add text and on the next place i can add some pictures so these pictures are available in my computer system for your computer system must be having something 
different pictures so I can select the picture of the mobile and I can insert it and also if I want one more picture like I can have the one more picture so I'll select one more slide I will click on it go to home tab new slide and again I'll select one more slide layout and here I can write about newspaper and I can enter some text now I can enter the text on this side as well like newspaper it provides national and international news and that is also in a printed format or printed paper and we can add picture on this side we can have some online pictures we can have pictures from the clip art if the content requires chart or table we can insert with the help of these small icons now I'll go to the picture section and I'll click on newspaper and insert so the newspaper I can just drag it and make it little large and fit to the page now our slide is prepared now we are going to add some transitions and animations so for that first of all we are going to select the picture and we'll go to the transitions tab here we can see there are different types of transitions so we can select any one of it and for the second slide also I'll select the picture I will go to the animation and I can select any one of it if I want to make some formatting in this in the main page that is a title slide I can just select it go to the home tab click on bold I can increase the size I can change the color I can also add picture to this particular page as well but right now we are going to run our presentation that means we are going to slideshow our presentation so for that we have to click on slideshow tab and then there is an option from beginning so as we click on this now our presentation in the slide show view so for moving to the next page we have added some animations and transitions so it can it will be shown like this and when the presentation ends so it will become blank and then we can exit it now we have done with our presentation so we are going to close it for before closing we can save our file again so we just have to this time we have to just click on file click on save and that's it now if it is if our presentation is done so we can close it with the help of this cross button now homework you have to complete the activity which is on page 72 as well as you have to make a presentation according to the activity given on page number 75 so students you have to practice making a presentation in the computer students today we have learned how to create new presentation and save it and as well as we have also learned how to add new slides in it so you are going to practice this bye students take care